Alex, thank you very much for joining us post-game. An, in an incredibly tough one to take today. You left feeling like we deserved a lot more out of the game. Um, yeah, uh, we, we all know it. We all said it in the dressing room. Um, the first half, obviously, not good enough, even though we, we had... We had the ball, but we, we weren't great in the first half. We all know that. We spoke about it in the dressing room. We come out second half and we were a different team. Um, we played through the third. We created opportunities. We've got to take take our chances when we get them. But on the other side, we conceded one at Southampton, which is a crucial point. And then today, you know, it was a big game. We all knew that. <clears throat> um, and we've we've really we've really grafted today, and we've come away bitterly disappointed. When you think about some of the chances you've created in that second half, do you look back and think, you know, how have we not put the ball in the back of the net there? No, of course, but it's the other side of the game. You've got to be probably better at it. I think today we, we knew how crucial set plays were going to be. Um, they've scored one and we've not we've, we've not done done enough boat boxes again. So um, it's, it's, it's difficult to take, but we have to, <clears throat> we've got 10 cup finals, so we have to stick together as a team and uh, go and put it right Tuesday night. The goal obviously came so late as well. Did it feel like it really came against the run of play? Yeah, obviously sitting there watching it, you, you knew exactly what was going to happen. We'd done it for the majority of the game really well. Um, yeah, look, it's, um, it's, it's tough to take, but we need to stay upbeat. <clears throat> the fans have been excellent. Since I've been here, you, you see they come in their numbers today and it's, I must be really, really difficult for them. I understand it. But stick with us. We 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 need to, we need to, we need to stick together in there, and we will do. And like I say, Tuesday night's a massive game. We go to that, and we'll give it our all for our fans. Like you mentioned, it might be hard to take positives out of the game, but can you be encouraged with some of the play in that second half and the way you upped your performance from the first half? Yeah, hundred um, percent. The second half was a lot lot better. We played through the thirds. We 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 got the ball into dangerous positions. Um, we penned them in at times, but we, we, we need to keep working on it. We need to we need to do that majority of the game. The first half wasn't good enough. We've got to look at that and we've got to realise why it wasn't good enough and why the second half was different. What do we do? We land on second balls a bit better, um, more crisper with a passing. Maybe we got through a couple of times and the confidence grew, so everyone knew actually we can do it. Um, but it's got to come very quickly because we got 10 cup finals. On a personal note, it must have been tough to, to come in and pick up an injury sort of straight away. But how pleased are you to be back fit and back in the starting eleven as well? Yeah, no, it's it, it's good, but obviously the situation it's, it's a team it's a team thing. So <clears throat> everyone's going to be needed, and we we all need to stick together in there. And it was, it was obviously good to get on the pitch today. It's a quick turnaround now to Middlesbrough yeah. on Tuesday, but that, does that give you a pretty immediate chance to put this right? Yes, one hundred percent. It's um, with our fans there. We need it to be. Uh, we need it to be tough for people to come there now. It, it's got to be. It's, it's going to be a massive game, and we need to step up to the plate. Alex, thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks.